So now we're going to do problem 8.4.14t. We got a data table about waiting times at a bank. The customers enter a single line. Okay, feeds three tellers. Test the claim that the standard deviation of waiting times is less than 2.2 minutes. So that's the claim. And that's going to be in the alternative because it says sigma is less than 2.2. So that's going to be the alternative. It's a left tail test. So the, uh, the null is sigma equals 2.2. So you can eliminate A and B because they don't have equals in the null hypothesis. C is for a two-tailed, and the left-tailed is in D. So D has to be our choice. All right. Alpha is 0 0.05. And we want to compute. I think stack crunch, I left it open. Yeah, there it is. So I can just uh, say edit. They don't have to open it again. So I will change the sample variance. It was, uh, oh, I'm sorry, let me back up. We need to put the data in. How silly of me. We're using, we're using data this time. So see this little icon here, you open that icon and it says open in StatCrunch. So now all the data is in variable one, column one. So now I, I say, uh, Variant stats, one sample with data instead of with summary. I hit with data. The data is in, says select a column. It's variable one. And then you just go along with the hypothesis test. 2.2 squared, that's 4.84 from memory. Let's see if I'm right. 2.2. Yep, somehow I remember that number. So four. 4.84. Oops. I don't need the data anymore. I'll close that. Go back to StatCrunch. And it's a left tail, so I got to change this to left tail. We're putting all of the alpha on the left side. And I believe we got everything correct. Compute. So two decimal places would be 26.55. Okay, and then the, the uh, p value, got to go back and pick it up. See, it's uh, less than one ten thousandth. So to three decimal places, it's zero. Let's put in a zero that, and they'll accept that. And so. Zero is less than 0 0.05. So there is sufficient evidence to conclude that the single line reduced the variation among waiting times because H naught is rejected by the hypothesis. So if we reject H naught, then that means we're, we, we have evidence for the alternative, which is the claim. So we're supporting the claim. There's sufficient evidence. Okay. So that's 8.2. 4.14, Dr. K, out.